thank you for all you do to represent the AHA with lawmakers in your local communities. Your voice is the voice of patients, of family members, of survivors, of caregivers, those who are most impacted by heart disease and stroke. We couldn't be effective without you, so thank you so much. Hi, I'd like to thank all of our volunteers who help with our advocacy work here at the American Heart Association. You're what we have to influence legislators, and when they hear your voice, they know that people in their communities and in their districts care about the issues that matter to the American Heart Association. Without you, we wouldn't be able to pass any of the policies that we do that make America a healthier place. Advocacy volunteers, you guys are lifesavers, literally. You rock. You're amazing. Fantastic. Thank you for all that you do. I am here to enthusiastically share with you information about how to advocate for issues that are important to you and to the members of the Heart Association as well. It would be important for your first step to make a one-page sheet of information about the issue. Just bullets is fine. Brief and to the point. And then call your legislators and make an appointment to visit with them. Every North Dakota citizen has one senator and two representatives, so give them a call, see if you can meet briefly in person, but if not, at least have a phone conversation and tell them that you will follow up with them. Then, when you get to that appointment for coffee or whatever, go over quickly the information sheet, explain that you are interested in being a resource for that legislator, when the session starts, because we do call and ask questions when there's something that needs to be answered and there is an expert in our own community. Then the next day after you've had that conversation, please go on email and send a message saying, first of all, thank you for the meeting. Secondly, providing that sheet of information again. Thirdly, the contact information to reach you. And in the fourth, again, offering to be a resource. That will be extremely important. So it's, the best that we can do is to work together because your lobbyists and staff members do a wonderful job of providing valuable information, but there's nobody more important than a North Dakota citizen who takes the time and makes the effort to either come to a committee hearing or contact the local legislators at home. So please do. We look forward to hearing from you, and we will work together to make North Dakota a healthier place to be. I just want to make a quick video um, telling you thank you, um, letting you know how much we appreciate everything that you do day in and day out, all the time and treasure that you do give to the Heart Association. Um, it all really is very much appreciated. Um, all everything that you do, all the personal stories that you share, they really do make a difference. When we go to the state house, we talk to legislators, I can give them all the stats and figures, um, everything that we have. Um, all that really doesn't make a difference compared to the personal stories that you share. Um, they all really have an impact. Um, we're going to have a great year. We've got some great issues that we're working on. We're going to keep plugging away on Medicaid expansion. It's going to make a huge difference for 50,000 people in our state that do not have access to health care coverage. Um, we're going to keep working on um, CPR in schools. Uh, where there's 35 states that have it done. South Dakota is not one of those. It's time that we get that done in South Dakota. We're going to keep working on it on the local level and uh, we need to get it done statewide as well. So um, get ready for a great year. Um, it's going to be fantastic. 2017 is going to be our year, South Dakota. So let's get it done. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate every single thing that you do. Um, I take your stories with you as we go across the state, and um, we're going to have a great year. Thanks. Throughout the years, the American Heart Association has accomplished many big things, from raising NIH funding to help heart disease and stroke patients, to passing state laws like CPR in schools and raising the tobacco tax to reduce youth and adult smoking. But none of this could have been accomplished without our volunteers. You really are the cure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the advocacy team of staff and volunteers. You truly are saving lives and changing lives throughout the Midwest. And I'm so grateful for your leadership, your dedication, and your passion for our life-saving mission. Thank you all. I know you're really tired of this election. All the media likes to focus on is this one race. But we know as You're the Cure Advocates that it's about much more than that. It's about our state elections and they are so critically important. You have the power to create change by talking with your local candidates right in your neighborhood. We can see the power of our voices with Tucker, one of the first babies in Iowa that was saved by our Paul Sox legislation. You have the power. So let's use our voices this year and create real change in our states. And thank you all for being 
you're the CURE advocates. Thank you Midwest affiliate, you're the CURE volunteers for all of your dedication, passion, hard work. We can't do what we do and have the success we've had without you. And I want to send a big thanks to all of our advocates and volunteers on the Year of the Cure Network. Your efforts have been instrumental in saving lives on a number of policy issues, including smoke-free legislation, screenings for heart defects for newborns, and many others as well. Thanks again for all your hard work, and I look forward to many successes in the future. Thank you. I just want to show my appreciation to all of our volunteers. You are always here when we need you, and when we call on you, you're there for us. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and the great state of Indiana. Bye-bye. Heart Association. It represents not just the science and the medical expertise the organization as a whole brings. It's a reminder of the stakeholders and the volunteers that have made our work possible, especially during session in the legislative hallways. Behind me are a lot of the journeys we took together. They're the policy wins that we made in the state. And each picture is up there, not because it was a win, but because it's a reminder of the individuals who made the difference, either by emailing or calling or shared their stories in the hallway or shared their influence. Each of those is a reminder of how we're making impact and a difference in people's lives. Thank you so much for your work with the organization. You're here with me in my office every day as a constant reminder of the work and the difference we can make together. Thank you. Sending a special thank you to all of our advocates. If we can't do what we do without you. You make all the difference. Thank you. We just wanted to reach out and thank all of our volunteers and advocates who have engaged in our advocacy issues over the years. We're 100% sure that without your help, we would not be successful. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Al Boyce, and I am privileged to be the National Chair of the American Heart Association. And first and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to extend my sincere thanks to all of you for all that you do, the incredible difference you make in our world. Uh, you will never understand the impact that you have on our communities and on our families and on our country, and it is greatly appreciated. I'm fond of saying that for all the work that you do, most of us will never see the faces of those we touch, the stories of those that we get an impact, and the impact on the communities and the families and the work that you do. So on behalf of myself and my fellow officers and American Heart Association, thank you. Hi there. Thank you so much for all the work you do to help us pass our legislation across the affiliate and across the nation. Thanks to you, we are able to get smoke-free laws, healthier kids with physical education, um, CPR in schools. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much. A lot of things have to go right for us to pass legislation, but one thing's certain, we can't do any of it without the amazing work of our volunteers. Thank you so much for everything you do.